In this video, we're going to learn about Kubernetes volumes. Specifically, we're going to look at a demo to understand how Kubernetes volumes can be used to persist data over a pod lifecycle. Now on to the demo. These are the steps we're going to be performing in this demo. We'll first create a pod with no volumes and it will run a certain command inside container as soon as the container is created. And this command will write to a log file continuously. Then we'll check the content of the log file. Then we'll destroy the pod and recreate it and check the content of the log file again. And again, we'll destroy the pod and this time we'll create another pod with a volume mounted to it. Then we'll repeat the steps two to five, which is checking the content of the log file, destroying the pod, and then recreating the pod and checking the content of the log file. I have already created the YAML files that we need for this demo. Let me show you this volumes underscore one YAML file first. So basically the first part that we'll be creating has the name pod with no volumes and it will be using a CentOS image. And as soon as this container gets created, it will be running this command. And if you take a closer look at this command, it is running a while through loop, writing the date, echoing the date every 30 seconds to this log file. We'll go ahead and create this pod using the kubectl command like this. The pod is created. So let's quickly check the status of pods. As you can see, the pod is running. Now we'll check the content of the log file, which is step number two. And we are going to run this command kubectl exec name of the container. And then we'll just print the, the contents of the log file. As you can see, there are two lines in this log file and it was printed at 30 second intervals. Now we'll destroy this pod and we'll recreate the, the same pod and check the content of the log file again, just to see the difference. So the pod has been deleted. Let's recreate the pod using the same command. Now the pod has been recreated. Let's check the status quickly. Then we'll again check the contents of the log file. As you can see, the log has been overwritten or basically the previous log has been deleted forever. There is no way to go back to it. I'm going to delete this pod again. Now let's take a look at another YAML file. Now this YAML file is pretty much the same as the previous one except it's got some extra volume related configuration. Here we are creating a volume called log directory, which is pointing to this host path or wherever the, the pod gets created. The host path represents the path on that node actually. And then the actual path that this volume will be pointing to is where log and this is a directory. So there are other options for the volume configuration like empty directory, EBS uh, storage, NFS storage, and so on. Please refer the Kubernetes documentation for other uh, the usage of other options. Now let's go ahead and create this pod. And then this pod is going to come up with a volume mounted to it. Now the pod has been created. Let's check the content of the log file. As you can see, there are two lines in this log file. Now let's go ahead and destroy this pod. Now that the pod has been destroyed, let's recreate the same pod again. Now that the pod has been recreated, let's check the content of the, the same log file. Now, as you can see, the log file still contains the, the data that we saw before. Like over here, you can see the two lines that was from the previous pod. And then you can see these timestamps like 09 and 39 and you have the same lines over here even though we recreated the pod these log lines or this data has been retained in other words the data has persisted over this pod delete and recreate lifecycle actually